Hi guys, welcome to this new video series. In this series, we will be covering up all the uploads in Django that is file upload, image upload, single and multiple uploads that do not just in Django but also in DRF. So in previous video which we had created, some people faced issue while uploading files. So first we'll start by tackling that whereby we cover up single file upload and multiple file uploads and then we'll move to DRF side of it. So the code link is already present. So you all can check that out in the description and we'll start now. So we'll start by creating the virtual environment dot env and I'll activate the environment. So it will be source dot env bin activate. We will start by installing the packages. So first I'll install Django. Then we'll install the DRF. And since we are going to also handle the image upload, so we need pillow for that. So pip install pillow. Now let me clear the screen and let's start by creating the project. So Django admin start project. I'll call it as SRC. The naming of folders might change a little bit here and there because the repo was created four or five months ago. So bear with me. Let's navigate inside the source and create the app. So Django admin start app and previously it was first app. So I'll create that and it's Django. Now let's install that app, both the apps actually in the source settings.py. So I'll start by installing first app and then Django rest framework. So it is a REST framework and then we'll create our template directory over here because I have to show you all by using the template. So it will be template dir and it's base dir slash templates and then I'm going to specify the media URLs. So media url is media and media root is is directory slash media slash media now let's install the template directory in templates so here and our settings.py is ready let's go in the urls.py and first of all configure the media root so this will change like this because we are going to introduce some new things over here that is uh, static static will be settings dot media url so whenever media url is requested we should give the document root document root is settings dot media root and let's import all the things so that will be from django.conf django.conf import settings then from django.conf.urls.static import static and this is import and our configuration is done also let's add uh, the other two urls that we have to do it so it is path whenever there is a blank path uh, we should include the first dot url so this means uh, whenever there is blank path accessed it will go to first app and access its urls.py which we will we will create shortly and then after that also uh, import the DRF settings. So it is API dash auth. Whenever this is accessed, uh, we have to include rest framework URLs. So rest underscore frame work dot URLs. And let me import the include so that will come from URLs. 
let me quickly fix this all these errors that are coming and the spelling is not correct actually it is media and not whatever I wrote so next thing is uh, let's create our models so for that we'll go to models.py inside first and we will have two models okay first will be for just for file uploads and second one will be just for image uploads so let's create both of them so i'll call it as class file model and this will take in models dot model uh, and it will have single uh, column that is uh, file and it will be model dot actually models dot file field and i'll give it upload to directory and this will be file likewise we will have another class uh, another model that will be image model and this will take models dot model and inside this we will have just one field called as again file itself we'll call it file we can name it anything and this will be models dot image field and this will also have upload to upload to i'll give it path of img so whenever objects are created it uh, for this one it will be uploaded in uh, folder media slash files and whenever object for this model is created it will be uploaded in media slash image file path so now let's create views for this one as i told you all first we'll tackle the file upload that is single file upload and multiple file upload with django and then we'll proceed to drf side so let's do that now we'll start by importing the model so from dot models import file model and image model model oh it should be model and i'll call this as without drf uploads and first we'll do the single upload so single upload this will take in a request and i'll take in the file that was uploaded so i'll call it as file and it will come from request dot files dot get and whatever you send it as i'll send it as file itself now whenever the file we have the file in hand let's upload it in the file model so file model dot object dot create and give the file as file and this is the name of the column that we have created over here and this is the variable that we are accessing from here after this let's return a response so it will be return json response I'll send it as message so it will be message is to I'll call it as success and please note that you have to import this JSON response and it got automatically imported because of VS code so from django.http import JSON response so this was the single file upload now let's cover the multiple file upload so I'll call it as dev multiple file up, multiple upload and this will be also taking request and over here instead of taking a single file we will have file a uh, list of files so i will copy this and i'll call it as files and instead of get it will be get list and i'll, I'll be sending it as files itself so that's why i'm changing this to files get list and i have stored in the variable uh, files so now let's iterate over that and extract the file so for file in in files now either we can insert it over here or let's in let's do the bulk create instead so that we will hit the database only once so for that i'll create a new uh, list and i'll call it as files list this will be blank and over here it will be files list dot append and in this one i'm going to pass in file model and this will be taking file as file so quickly what i have done is i have iterated over all these files and then created a list of a files list which has uh, data in the form of file model uh, e uh, file model file equal to file 
after this we will check if files li lists exist so files list and then we will do is file list uh, sorry file model dot object dot bulk create so and we'll pass in the file list over here and then once that is done uh, we will return the json response so json response and again i'll pass in the same message so what i have done is whenever multiple files are uploaded i have taken the files from the get list uh, and stored it in files variable and then iterated over the files and created a files list uh, whereby i store the data like this and check if files list exist that is some at least one exists and then do the bulk create over here so all the data will be inserted at once so this is how we can do the multiple upload now to test this we of course need a template so let's create a function to load the template so def index uh, request and uh, it will return renderer whereby it will take request and then template name so template name i'll call it as index.html now let's create the templates uh, directory uh, that will come inside the main source so templates please take a note that this folder name that is directory name should be same as the one which we have given over here and then inside this we will have index.html so index.html let me quickly throw in the html that we are going to use so so let me explain quickly what i have done over here in this html file i have linked the bootstrap css file because i am using bootstrap for styling gave stylings and all the classes so that it looks quite decent and then we have a input whereby it uh, the file will be uploaded so uh, take a note that this has a id of called file and then we have a button called a submit form which calls the function upload file whenever that button is clicked and that uh, upload file is defined in the script tag and of course we have imported the jquery in upload file we create a new form data and then i'll actually change this one so single upload so first uh, we'll try to do the single upload and uh, i have selected the files that is let me explain you what does this do so select the input whose id matches this called as file and select the zeroth one from that uh, because it will be multiple and from that select the files okay and iterate over the all the files that is by using file dot length and append the files over here so i'll call it as right now as file because if you note uh, in the views.py for single upload it is file and not files and for multiple upload it is files so i'm showing y'all first of all single upload and then we have i have appended the csrf middleware token by doing this because otherwise it will give me the error and then we are doing the post call for that and take a note of all these things process data is false content type is false my type is multipart slash form data because we are sending file and then we are sending the data that is data is this data which we created by appending the file and csrf token and then on success i'm logging this so save let's go to the urls.py actually we have not created urls.py in first app so we'll create that we'll start by importing the path so from django dot urls import path and then from dot import views and then we'll create our url pattern so url patterns this will be i'll give a blank path first and whenever blank path is called we'll call the views dot index view that will load our html file then we'll give the path of single upload so single upload which will take views dot single upload and then we'll test uh, create for multiple uploads so path multiple upload 
this will take views dot multiple upload so let's save this and final thing that we'll do is register both the models in admin.py so let's import that so from dot import models and admin dot site dot register models dot file model and then we'll register admins uh, admin dot site dot register image model now let's go ahead and create a migration and admin user so python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate let me clear this python manage.py create super user i'll call it as admin blank give it some password give it some password yes and let's run the project so python manage.py run server let's go to this url and this is how the ui looks let me inspect it because whenever we do a success upload i have just logged it and done nothing let me check okay this is fine let's choose a file i'll upload this hit submit and we get 404 i found the error why this error is happening because we have a slash at the end but in path we have not given any slash so let's give that so run slash at both both of them and save it and now let's try to upload the file we should select a file so let me select a file first okay and we'll submit the form so now it was okay and let's check the preview success yes we got it correctly let's duplicate this one and go to admin credentials are already present for me y'all can enter it and log in and we'll go to the file model because it was files and we have a new file object created and if we click on this one here we go we get this file so thus we were able to successfully upload a single file now let's try to upload multiple files for that we have to make few changes in the html.py let's go to the vs code and we'll go to index.html in this one over here where input is present we have to give it multiple mul tiple so that it will allow us to select multiple files and uh, in the data.append here we have to give files and not file because we are expecting files to come in views.py for the multiple upload files and of course we have to change the url of this one uh, index.html uh, uh, url will be multiple upload and not single upload let's save this and try to run we will have to refresh the page once now we'll choose multiple files so i have created duplicate copies of this one select both ok submit form and this one also gave us ok response that means it was successfully sent and then preview has a message of success so let's go to the admin side and we'll refresh as you can see here there were two new objects created and thus even multiple file upload works successfully so uh, this was the end of the first part of this video where we covered uh, single and multiple file uploads using Django. In the next video we will try to do the same thing by using DRF. And for image upload it is already present in this video so you all can check that out. Thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe to our channel like this video and comment. See you in the next one.